All right, another week, another dollar. I uh, more sales as it's been another week. Then uh, it was another great week. Uh, last four tabs here are not sales. The rest of it is sales. Uh, so pretty in line with what um, a normal week is. Uh, especially now that I'm approaching a thousand listings. Uh, pretty much all of those. Uh, not all of that is patches. There's a little bit that's not, and that doesn't include all the ones that I took down that I've. I still have not actually done anything with. There's, they're uh, still sitting in their uh, envelopes. I haven't even started relisting them or relotting them or anything. So I have still have plenty uh, to deal with. And then uh, we'll sh we'll skip to this real quick uh, that I showed you last week. I'm pretty sure, or I'm pretty sure I showed you last week. These two lots of 100, they came in. Uh, I've started listing some of them uh, in a little bit. Um, as you can see, they're all mixed. There's, it's mostly police. There's a little bit of fire. There was also a little bit of uh, kind of other patches. A uh, little bit of like NASA, military, kind of just general patches kind of thing. I have those off to the side. I'll deal with those when I'm done with... Uh, all the other police uh, patches that uh, which I've pretty much gotten through all of them. I have a stack in front of me that um, I don't. I actually have to look up where, uh, what state they're in. They're not obvious ones, which is usually how I do um, large lots like this. Is I'll start off with ones that I know the city or know the state or whatever, uh, you know, either or, and then leave um, the rest. That I actually have to look up and do a little bit more work on to the end. So I've started listing them this week as well. Um, and then there's these other two. This uh, Detroit Police Explosives Disposal Unit. I might keep this for myself. I may uh, may sell it. may keep. I haven't quite uh, decided what I'm doing with this. Um, and as you can see, this guy's posted a ton of stuff. Um, as you can see, he's retired uh, Elio and collecting patches for the last 30 years, and he's, you know, liquidating his entire collection, so, uh, there is plenty, uh, to go around, just, that's for sure, and then this other one that I picked up was this, uh, Miami PD Bomb Squad, uh, picked it up cheap, 382 plus 2 shipping, uh, you know, I, the last one I had, I sold this, at, what was it, 7.99, or 9.99, so I figured, uh, there's definitely room to make a couple bucks, off of this one because a lot of these um his titles are horrible and it's put in the um the categories listed as the unknown um uh police patch category instead of in the actual states that they go to um and a lot of me doesn't specifically say what it is um he'll say you'll see like what's on it and it'll put you know unique cool whatever not you know miami police bomb squad um necessarily or like this Detroit, Detroit police um explosive disposals unit you know kind of not not using all the like uh good keywords so that's why I figured those uh, I could probably make a couple couple of bucks on top of this uh after tax and everything it won't be much probably like three maybe like three four bucks uh so and that was sent out today so we'll see how uh when that comes in and like I said these I've seen a ton of his stuff listed. I'm watching, uh, I'm watching every week, to, waiting to see what other uh, cool stuff is to be listed. So next we have this Wisconsin, or to start off, we have this Wisconsin Department of Corrections, eight ninety nine on that. Uh, next is Heard County, Georgia, Sheriff, four ninety nine on that. Next is the Romulus, New York, uh, Volunteer Fire Department, six ninety nine on that. Next is uh, Albuquerque ABQ uh, Fire Department, five ninety nine on that one. Next is uh, Cushing, uh, Oklahoma ERT or SWAT Team, uh, seven ninety nine on that one. Next, a good old classic FDNY uh, patch, four ninety nine on that. Next is a Throgs Neck Volunteer Ambulance Corps uh, in the Bronx. Six ninety nine on that one. And actually, as you can see, I didn't uh, c clean up the photo and zoom it in, but it doesn't matter. It sold pretty quick. 
Next is an NYPD Emergency Squad 599. And this one, this was one that I noticed I had a duplicate of in my um, personal collection. So I pulled it and then listed it. I couldn't be bothered looking up where it actually came from or trying to figure out what lot it came from or whatever. Not a big deal. It was probably, you know, a dollar or two, maybe three at the most. So I wasn't worried about it. Uh, next is Morristown, Tennessee Police, five ninety nine dollars on that. Uh, next is the New Orleans Police, five ninety nine dollars on this one. There's a couple different New Orleans ones you'll see. Uh, next is the registered EMT um, on an ambulance. Not, not like the nationally registered one, which you'll see here later. Five ninety nine dollars on that one. Like I said, New Orleans Police uh, is in here a couple times. This one. New Orleans Police, five ninety nine on this one. As you can see, this one, the bottom is how I could tell it apart. Um, this was from that. That was this was in the recent pickup pickup of New Orleans stuff. Uh, next is the Mount Vernon Fire Department seven. Or no, this sold on offer six seventy nine on this. I do have another one from a different lot uh, that's still up. Uh, next is the Tennessee State Trooper. Patch 539 and uh, out an offer on this one. Uh, and this one also sold out an offer 629 for uh, the Spalding County Correctional Institute. Uh, next, Indianapolis Fire Department 399 on that. These are not, um, these are only worth like 399 and they're huge. Uh, so you got to charge the higher shipping on it. These are not. Uh, Indianapolis is not a great great one to pick up that's for sure uh collinsville uh pennsylvania auxiliary police this also sold on offer 629 on that one next is an lapd uh 599 on that one and i noticed when this sold that i didn't actually put in police in the title and that might be why this actually got i was able to list this because i know usually with lapd it won't eBay won't let you list it, which is nonsensical and it's very annoying. Uh, so I think that's how I got away with it, is not putting in police. It took a little bit to sell, I think, because of that. Um, but it did still still sold eventually. Anyways, uh, Sonoma, next, Sonoma County, California, Emergency Services, Fire Department, whatever, six ninety nine on that one. Uh, these next three sold together. This Lakeland, uh, fire. This Brentwood fire. And this Montuk fire. So, all three sold together, uh, to the same guy. Repeat buyer for me. Also, uh, in downstate, downstate. In, uh, downstate New York. Um, and all three of them are New York fire ones in specific. Uh, next is this uh, Chile, New York Fire Department, uh, 50 years, 1931 to 1981. As you can see, kind of, uh, the stitching on it's not that great. Oh, I put it as new, but uh, as you can see, the stitching on it's not great, and that's, I, th I think that's just how the design is. I must say, I don't like this <laughs> look at all. It's uh, It just looks like crap. So, uh, as you can see, I had two of them. Sold them both to the same guy, and it's actually going over to Monroe County. It was going to, uh, where was it going to? Uh, I forget now, but it was going to Monroe County. I do know that, which is where Chili is. Uh, this was like a little lot of Chili uh, patches that I bought, you know, uh, kind of to keep for myself and then sell uh, the other ones off. Uh, next is the Pennsylvania State Trooper patch, five ninety nine on this one, um, and this was from the huge Pennsylvania lot where there's, I want to say, almost 20 of these Pennsylvania State Trooper patches. Um, and as you can see, I put numbers on the back of them because I, um, I was going to, I thought about make, just doing it as a quantity listing, but I noticed there's like so subtle little differences in them. Some of them are new, some of them are used. So I just went through and labeled them all and did it that way. And then I noticed, I and I took pictures of all of them at once, and then when I went, once this sold, I was going to relist them again, and noticed I couldn't, and I can't find the pictures. So, I'm hoping I didn't accidentally delete them all, and they are 
in one of the folders somewhere because I really do not want to retake all of those photos. So next here we go, another New Orleans police, five ninety nine in that one. And then this one you can see is slightly different. It's it's cleaner on the bottom. Uh with the alligator. At least that's what I'm assuming that's supposed to be. Uh so much cleaner look. Uh staying in Louisiana, Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. Six ninety nine on that one. Uh here's the nationally registered um EMT. Uh, five ninety nine on this one, and I noticed after this sold, I received a message that I'm assuming was before this sold, that the guy uh, asked if he knew if I knew what year it was, because he was looking for the one that was kind of the disco glitter, which this one was, uh, but it had sold by the time I actually seen that message, so I you know I responded back to him that I didn't know what year it was. Yes, it was glitter, but it's already sold, so. Uh, couldn't, couldn't help him out there. Uh, next is another New Orleans, uh, something French, something in French, I'm assuming is French, maybe for the French Quarter, uh, or the French, uh, seven ninety nine on that one. Next is a Patterson, New York, Fire Department, I have two of them, so the one, five ninety nine on that one. Uh, next is this San Jose Fire Department, supposedly... Um, because on the back seat it says CA, uh, and I just assumed that that meant this was San Jose, but I received a message from a guy saying that this is very common that this is not San Jose, and it's actually for, uh, out in Missouri. So, hopefully, uh, but I couldn't change the title because I had sent out an offer and it doesn't let me change the titles, what I should have done actually was take the listing down and relisted it, but I didn't, and it ended up selling, and it went, it's going to a guy out in California, so, uh, I'm not entirely sure, uh, on this one, but I'm pretty sure I did look, and it's, it's not San Jose, so I kind of maybe shoot myself in the uh, foot here, we'll see, uh, next, Walnut Creek, California, Police. This one sold four forty nine. Uh, on offer. Next, Pennsylvania Fire Training School graduate, five ninety nine on this one. I'm pretty sure I have another one of these as well that I got from a different lot. But uh, this one sold first. I think this is the later from a later listing. Next is uh, Akron. Uh, Akron, Ohio Police, five ninety nine on that one. And I can tell I copied and pasted the title, title and didn't change it because I definitely don't put State of Ohio, even though that's what it says on here. Um, police Department Officer Patch, I definitely don't put um, that in the title, so obviously I copied this. Title wasn't paying attention. Uh, Texas Rangers, Department of Public Safety, uh, Subdued Patch, uh, Velcro on the back, seven ninety nine. On this one. And then the last thing that I sold was this FAA uh, airport police patch. As you can see, not uh, in great shape. It's uh, and This is the lot that came in. I call it the dirty lot because all of them look like this. They're all used and kind of dirty looking. Still got $7.99 for it. Took a little bit to sell. I listed that back in August. So that is everything that sold this week. Uh, nothing really new inventory wise. I'm pretty sure that because I'm pretty sure I showed you this last week. So, uh, nothing really else has been coming up. There's a couple um, auctions that I'm kind of going to be watching on some things, but nothing that stands out. Not that I really, not that I need to pick up anything because I have obviously these two lots that came in, so that was pl that's plenty of inventory to deal with for now. For now, but you always gotta always gotta be looking for the next uh, next deal, uh, the next deal, the next lot. As I uh, gotta always be listing everything, but I do, like I said earlier in the like I said in the beginning, those ones that I took down and never relisted, those technically are a backup. I could always uh, just go back through and start relisting them again and see if um, them being completely freshened and relisted helps them 
helps them sell. So, until then, we'll see you next week.